Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an action and thriller movie from 2006 called The Contract. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts in New York City. A group of men are waiting for Cardin, a top-notch assassin. When he arrives, he instructs them to study a file detailing their latest assignment. Davis, one of the men, expresses doubt about hitting their target, but Cardin reassures him. The scene then switches to Ray Keane, a baseball coach in Washington. His son, Chris, who has just been suspended from school, disagrees with his father's rules. At home, Ray attempts to discuss the suspension with Chris, pointing out that he's fortunate to have only gotten three days and suggests Chris's behavior might be due to his mother's passing. This angers Chris, who retorts that his father can't fix everything. Meanwhile, Cardin and his associate meet billionaire Lytle Hammond. Hammond recognizes them and their employer, but Cardin forces him onto the roadside where another of Cardin's men drives by and fatally hits Hammond. Back at Ray's, Chris, having finished his suspension, is supposed to return to school, but instead is found playing. Rather than scolding him, Ray proposes they go camping together. Cardin, under the alias Elwood, rents an apartment in Washington. That night, he's involved in a collision with a truck, which knocks him unconscious. While being transported to the hospital, his gun is discovered and seized. Hours later, Cardin wakes up to find himself handcuffed to the hospital bed with the police chief watching over him. The police mention the gun and reveal they know his true identity. They leave, informing him that he will be watched all night. An FBI agent visits Miles, a woman collaborating with Cardin, to update her on his situation. She acts unaware, but once the agent leaves, she makes a call advising not to let the situation escalate. At the hospital, Cardin manages to borrow a nurse's phone to contact his associates. They argue about rescuing him, with Davis worrying about getting caught, but are convinced when reminded they won't be paid unless they save him. News spreads that Lydell's death was an accident, noting that Lydell was a billionaire's son whose father will attend his funeral. Three officers escort Cardin from the hospital, handcuffed for safety. They ask why he came to Washington, and he says he enjoys the scenery. Meanwhile, Ray and his son Chris reach their camping spot, which Chris claims to know well. Suddenly, Cardin's transport is blocked by his associates. In the ensuing chaos, a shot is fired, causing their vehicle to crash into a river. Cardin and one officer struggle, resulting in the officer's injury, but Cardin saves him. As Ray and Chris cross a bridge, they see the scene and rush to help, with Ray taking the officer's gun. Cardin's men search for him unsuccessfully. Chris attempts to call for help, but there's no signal. Ray suggests heading to the highway for better reception. Cardin urgently advises against it, warning that it's dangerous as his men are close by. He suggests they let him go and not get involved, but Ray ignores the warning, determined to help Cardin get to the highway. Cardin's men find the police dead and immediately assume Cardin must be dead too, but one of them spots footprints and realizes that Cardin isn't dead. Chris encounters three men, two of whom appear to be working with Cardin and a yellow minibus driver. He runs to them for help, but he watches as one of them kills the driver, prompting him to run back to his father in fear to tell him what he has just seen. Cardin reminds Ray that he is now in too deep. Cardin's men are seen following them from behind, and Ray tries to find another path. Soon, all four of Cardin's associates decide to go after them after discovering the path they took. Davis is then instructed by a woman, presumably Miles, to get rid of Cardin and offers him half a million. Soon it begins to rain, and Ray and Chris continue their journey with their prisoner. Cardin feels Chris is lost, but Chris insists he knows what he's doing. Cardin's men are nearing them and now have no choice but to follow Ray. Unable to find them, Cardin's men turn back. Ray and Chris are now safe, but Cardin immediately begins to fight Ray. He stops when Chris picks up the gun, threatening to shoot Cardin, which causes Cardin to stop. When everything returns to normal, Ray begins questioning Cardin, asking why he is wanted by the police. Cardin tells them he's an exterminator contracted to eliminate obstacles to progress. Cardin's men decide to camp in the woods. They're about to give up, but Davis encourages them to continue the search, assuring them they'd find him. More police appear at the accident scene. Miles and the FBI also appear to know more about what's going on with Cardin. The police are then informed that the FBI will be handling the case. In the morning, Ray and Chris leave their hiding spot with Cardin. Cardin's men also continue their search from where they stopped the previous day. Suddenly, Davis spots the trio. Wills and the FBI also begin their investigation. One of the FBI agents, trying to understand why Cardin is in Washington, learns about the president's arrival and suspects the president might be Cardin's new target. Ray and Chris keep moving with Cardin's men not far behind. Cardin learns more about Ray and discovers he recently lost his wife. They encounter a couple camping in the area. 
Ray warns them of the danger and the couple decides to join them. A helicopter sent to survey the area is hijacked by two of Cardin's men who kill the pilots. The helicopter then locates Ray, Chris, Cardin, and the couple and opens fire, killing the woman's husband. Cardin flees for his life and Ray chases after him, with Cardin's men in pursuit. One of the men shoots at Ray multiple times. Ray plays dead and when the shooter approaches, Ray shoots him instead. Ray then sees Cardin trying to escape on the helicopter. He fires at it repeatedly, forcing it to abandon Cardin. Left with no other option, Cardin follows Ray while the helicopter crashes. Ray and the group press on, finding a cabin to stay in for the night. Cardin's men, surviving the crash, locate the cabin and head there, knowing it's their last chance as their contract is about to expire. Another helicopter is dispatched to look for the first missing one. When Cardin's men reach the cabin, they confront Ray, promising to leave if he hands over Cardin. Ray agrees and gives Cardin the keys. Just then, one of the men strikes Chris, angering Ray, who fights back fiercely, injuring the attacker. The other men start shooting at the cabin, and Cardin takes Chris hostage. Another man is killed in the shootout. As Cardin tries to escape with Chris, Davis fires at him but misses, leading Cardin to flee in another direction while Davis gives chase. Eventually, Ray and the woman are rescued. Ray informs the FBI that Cardin has taken his son and they vow to find him. Cardin then uses Chris to secure a vehicle. The president is about to arrive in Washington in a few hours, so the police shift their focus to him. Davis leaves the woods and receives a call from Miles, who insists on getting rid of Cardin and suggests making it look like Cardin killed Chris if he's still alive, urging Davis to eliminate all evidence. Ray is taken home as the president arrives in Washington. Watching the news, Ray hears that Lydell's father will attend his son's funeral and is described as an obstacle to progress. This makes Ray suspicious and he quickly contacts the police to inform them that the president is not Cardin's target, but they don't believe him. Taking matters into his own hands, Ray heads to Lydell's funeral early and hides in the bushes. Meanwhile, Cardin, having escaped to the woods, is waiting for Lydell's father's arrival. As Lydell's father arrives, Cardin prepares to shoot him but is interrupted by Ray, who demands to know where his child is. As they argue, Davis, hiding nearby, takes aim at Cardin. The argument inadvertently saves Cardin, who realizes Davis is targeting him. Davis tries to shoot Cardin but misses repeatedly and then shifts his focus to Lydell's father. Before Davis can fire, Cardin confronts and stops him with a kick before shooting him. The funeral ends and Cardin returns to Ray, handing him a key, implying it leads to his son. Ray, accompanied by some police officers, heads to the indicated building and finds his son there. Miles, unaware of Davis's fate, is at a coffee shop when she encounters Cardin. He warns her to not harm Ray and his son, threatening to come after her if anything happens to them. The movie concludes in a park where Ray, his son, and the woman from earlier are trying to have fun. It's not long before Ray hears news of Lydell's father's death, reported as a boating accident. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care, and see you next time.